Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we're going to be looking at turtle waxes, zip wax, car wash, and wax. This car soap has been around for a long time. Uh, you can find it just about anywhere. I can't remember the last time I actually used it. It's probably been about 20 years ago. And I'm sure the formulation has been tweaked a little bit, has changed slightly. I'm not going to spoil the results. What we're going to do is we're going to be using our MTM submachine gun style foam gun to test the foaming ability. We'll be using 2 ounces of the zip wax to 10 ounces of warm water in our foam gun. Then we'll switch to a bucket wash to test the foamage of this product and see how it performs in a hand wash. So, I don't know where this falls in Turtle Wax's line. It's probably, I guess, could say one of their value sham or value car soaps. Um, the dilution ratio is about the same as all the other low-level car washes that you're going to find at Walmart. It's one ounce to a bucket of water, which is usually a gallon. I'm going to hold my comments until I actually show you guys this on um, on on video so you can actually see how it performs. I've never used it in a foam gun, so we're going to we're going to find that together. But enough talking. Let's go outside. I don't think it's raining right now. So hopefully we'll be able to get this video done in one shot. All right, I've got 10 ounces of warm water and two ounces of our zip wax, and we're gonna see how this foams. Okay, I am very, very pleasantly surprised at how this foams initially. It makes a very dense, rich foam. It kind of goes on a little weak, but um, the foam is, I don't know if you can, the camera's picking this up. It's very, uh, it's a very thick layer of foam. It does seem a little runny. The structure is a, it's got a very tight foam structure. It's almost, it almost acts as a dual layer foam. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there seems to be an initial, an initial solid thick layer, and then there's a sheeting action of some of the lighter viscosity surfactants moving across that, and the, um, I don't know if you're, the camera's picking this up either, but there's almost, it's almost like it's, it's a dual foam. I it's got a lot of uh, very small, dense structure bubbles in here mixed, intertwined with some of the uh, more medium-sized bubbles. All right, so what I'm going to do is let this sit here about six minutes, and we'll come back and see what it's done. All right, here we are back at the six-minute mark, and 
on the side. I'm going to say it's about 80% dissipated, which is not good. It does show a little bit better performance on the horizontal surfaces, but you can see what I'm talking about where it seemed to have gone on a little thicker and then the, the lighter viscosity portion of the product drained off. So we're going to go ahead and uh, rinse this off and see if it leaves any contaminants behind. We're also going to see if it strips any of our sealant protection and if it rinses clean. Alright, well, it seemed to rinse very nice and clean. It does not appear to have removed any of our sealant protection. Seems to have done a really nice job removing the non-bonded contaminants. But as we would expect, it did not remove any of the bonded contaminants. So I think this uh, initially starts out as a really luxuriously lathered um, product when it comes out of the foam gun. I'm going to say that if you want to use this as a foam, as a pre-wash, I would probably maybe put four ounces instead of two in the foam gun. That would allow the foam to dwell a little bit longer on the surface. Also being in the sun does have a little bit of a factor to it. If it was a cloudy day or a little cooler it would uh, stick on the surface a little longer. So next I'm going to set our bucket up and we're going to test the uh, foamage ability in a bucket and also see what it does in hand wash. Okay so um, basically the uh, zip wax is as far as scent, it has a, I don't know, almost a hair shampoo scent, but not like a Johnson's Baby Shampoo. We're going to put three ounces in here. It's a kind of an aqua color. It's mildly viscous. And when it's in the water, it has little to no scent to it. Just initially, I don't feel any lubricity at all. Well, maybe just, maybe just a tiny bit. I'm sure as soon as we agitate the mixture, it will. But just initially, it'll make some uh, rather large, thin bubbles. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to get the pressure washer over here and agitate this and see what kind of foamage we get out of this. So 
that took a little bit more agitation than normal. Again, um, kind of as we saw on the car with the foam gun, it's got a very dense foam structure. It looks to be very stable. But there pretty much is no, this feels like water, which is not a good thing. There's, there's no lubricity in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got a mixture this time of microfiber and wash pads because my other ones are uh, still dirty. Uh, you, microfiber, a good microfiber, uh, like a 400 gram works very well on using that as a, as a car wash pad. Just remember that I use multiple microfiber or wash pads because I never want to put a dirty wash pad even if you're using the two bucket method you cannot get it clean enough the only way that you can really get it clean is to put it in the washing machine and launder it scrubbing it on a grit guard and a rinse bucket and then putting it back in here scrubbing it on the grit guard again is going to get probably 50 to 70 percent of it but there's still contaminants there's still um, things that can scratch your paint so if you want to be a hundred percent well nothing's a hundred percent if you want to be ninety percent um, sure that you're not going to scratch your paint in the wash portion of the method uh, just use multiple microfibers it's inexpensive it's cheap and if you care about your paint then you'll be far ahead of people using the two bucket method All right, so it looks like it's getting ready to thunderstorm right after I drive the car. So I want to give you guys my thoughts on the Zip Wax by Total Wax. And I'm going to say it's it's middle of the road. Okay, I can't really say that it's any better than that. It's probably low middle of the road, if anything. The reason is there's just no lubricity in it. Um, I think if you doubled the dosage that I used to actually wash the car it may improve the lubricity so you would use maybe six ounces in the bucket of water and then use um, four ounces in the foam cannon but you know like I've told you guys before it gets to be where these value priced car soaps are really no value at all when you can use maybe one ounce of chemical guys to get a far superior wash so just because the initial price is cheap doesn't mean that it's doesn't mean that it's a good uh, car wash, but it, it's okay. I mean, it's definitely not as good as the Meguiar's Gold Class for sure. But anyway, so I'm gonna call this just barely middle of the road. It did an adequate job of cleaning the car. Not a lot of lubricity. Not really impressed with how it performed as a hand wash, and it was barely mediocre in the area of the foam gun so we'll leave it at that and i've got uh definitely one more to do i'm going to try to see if there's anything else at walmart that i have, may have missed and i will see you guys on the next video